What's going on guys? It's Silver Zero Breaks here. Just want to say welcome back to my channel. And today, it's a brand new release day. And yes, I am talking about Upper Deck Allure, but unfortunately, I don't have that product in my hands just yet. Uh, it's making its way to the land down under. And as I'm recording this, it's actually just cleared customs. So fingers crossed that it gets delivered on time and that I'll get a chance to open it up tomorrow because I'm super, super excited to open up a brand new product for the year. Now, the other new release just happens to be on EPAX, and right now it just came out, which is the 2020-2021 SPX Hockey, and if you've seen my box break of that particular product, it did not treat me all that well. So it's super foolish of me to do this, but I have decided to go for the EPAC breaks and see if my luck will change. Now I did not get the whole hobby box, I only grabbed a couple packs, so essentially today I am doing a virtual silver zero box because it's a random pack break um, so I've actually picked up two packets of 1819 Parkers two packets of extended series and two packets of SPX now if you're wondering why there isn't more variety well E packs don't really have all that much left a lot of it has sold out unfortunately so this is what I'm stuck with so this will be my virtual silver zero box and hopefully the SPX packs will treat me a lot better and I'll get some nice hits out of it uh, I'm personally chasing a pride of a nation of Timu Solani but that one's only numbered to 25 so that is extremely extremely hard to hit but anyway, let us begin with the box break or virtual EPAC break right here. And of course, just as a reminder, if you happen to like the content on this channel, don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe. It really does help me out a lot, gives me the motivation to pump out more content for you. All right, so let's kick things off with some Parkers because we're starting from low end to mid to high end. And uh, let's see what we can get here. I like 1819 just because it has a lot more Ducks rookies compared to the other years. So hopefully, you know, I can get something like Sam Steele, Isaac Lindstrom, Troy Terry, you know, along the list of those. But uh, let's see what we can get in here. And we kick things off with uh, Victor Hedman, Sam Reinhardt, Brandon Gallagher, and we have a rookie of Nico Sturm. Actually, I did not pick up 1819. I just realized I picked up 1920. <laughs> That's silly of me. But anyway, here is a... Ooh, that looks like a puzzle piece of a duck player. So there we go. Uh, and then we have Brad Marchand. Uh, we have a rookie of Mario Ferraro. Uh, Clayton Keller. Jimmy Howard. And Ryan Suter. So it turns out I picked up 1920. I did not read it properly when I purchased these packs. Whoops, but in that case, that means I'm not looking for a Max Jones uh, rookie card. <laughs> but uh, we'll see how things go in here. Of course, landing big hits in Parkers is very, very difficult, but uh, it's always a fun, inexpensive break. I'm trying to balance out the cost of this lose pack one anyway. So we had uh, Andrei Sveshnikov, Miro Hiskinen, Mika Zibanejad. We got a Patrice Bergeron multiplier. Uh, we got a puzzle piece of a San Jose Shark. There you go. And we have the Jackal. And also a Hailstorm of D-Boss, Dylan Larkin. And then Kata Hot, who hopefully will have a bounce back season. And Pekka Rene. Oh, and Alex the Brink Cat. All right. So that's pretty much it for the um, Parkhurst break. Relatively uneventful <laughs> but there is the Ryan Kessler puzzle piece so something for my PC I just need to find the other two pieces and then that would be fine <laughs> all right so we got more packs to open up and this time we have some extended series so of course I'm always looking for those tribute young guns um, I those are the main chases for me otherwise it's the Alexi Lafreniere um, photo variant young gun which is actually super super hard to pull but uh, let's see what we can get here we have Nolan Patrick, uh, Dominic Cahoon, uh, Radko Gudis, but the young gun luck is still there. Here is the young gun of Sasha Schmalewski. Actually, not, not bad. One of the better ones from the extended series set, so pretty good. All right, so at least I have still have some young guns luck with these extended breaks. Uh, we got Nephew Tyler, Carl Soderberg, Billy Husso, and a checklist. All right, on to the second pack. Let's see what we can get out of here. Still fingers crossed for a tribute young gun. We got Casey Sezikis, Metal Thrower, Chris Kreider, 
and we have an ultimate victory of Alex Petrangelo. So no tribute young gun, but still managed to get one young gun out of the two packs, so that's actually not bad. Uh, we got Scory Perry, uh, Andrew Shaw, and Justin Dowling and Adam Lowry. All right, so all in all, extended series break, not exactly a major success, but not too bad either, considering that uh, I did get a young gun, so I'm actually quite happy with that. So now the exciting part, the part that I'm super, super nervous about because well, SPX is super, super risky. There's only one card in each pack. Yeah, and last time I was not very happy, but uh, let's see how things go. Pack number one, let's see what magic we can get out of here. I am super, super nervous. Pack number one, and we have an Obsidian Jersey of Morgan Geeky. I've actually accumulated quite a few Morgan Geeky cards. Um, that's actually not bad. A nice looking card. I do like the Obsidian Black cards. Of course, this is not one of the major hits. There's no autographs or anything on that, but I anticipate that this will look very, very nice. So, all right, on to the next one. And of course, Morgan Geeky was uh, selected by the Seattle Kraken in the expansion draft, so he is now technically a Kraken. All right, last pack mojo. Let's see what we can get here. And we have a Obsidian Rookie of Gage Quinny. So two UD Black cards, which is all right. Um, unfortunately, no autographs, no major hits. Super foolish of me to spend on <laughs> SPX, but here we are. This is what happens. Um, super high risk, but you know what? The potential for a high reward was there. Um, but of course, you know, my luck isn't always there either. So anyway. So those are the two cards that I got from the SPX break. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just buying some more time until Allure comes out. I'm looking forward to that one. Um, of course, I might even get some Allure blaster packs on the way. Maybe do a pack battle with Miss Silver Zero if she's down for it. But we'll see how that goes. But anyway, since I got you all here, um, I did want to remind everyone that if you happen to be on the main page, don't forget to check out the other channels in the featured channels section, lots of other card breaking content out there and lots of other fellow collectors to support. And of course, I do have a Instagram page and you can go follow me at, at Silver Zero Breaks where I post updates, uh, even my EPAC collection over there. Um, lots and lots of stuff. Lately, I've had this little fascination with silver foils. So I've been trying to get a lot of silver foil young guns and of course my usual tribute young guns as well. So uh, yeah, you can go check out my page at Silver Zero Breaks. And of course, to all those that do have a YouTube channel out there, just I just want you guys to know that I'm still supporting you guys. I still watch your videos and I still go there and give it a thumbs up. I know I haven't been commenting as much lately, but that's because um, I try to move on to the next video quickly because I've been working 10 and a half hour days. I'm super exhausted and I'm trying to fit in as much content as I can um, during my downtime. But yeah, leaving comments sometimes I just need to sort of take a bit longer. So I'm trying to move things along a lot quicker. Um, but just so you know, I am still supporting you guys. I just um, don't want you to think that I've sort of neglected your videos or your content as well. But anyway, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this box break. I uh, hope you guys are doing well, and if you happen to like the content, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It really does help me out a lot, gives me the motivation to pump out more content for you. So fingers crossed the lure comes in tomorrow, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care everyone, bye.